so in this lesson i'll explain role and types of diet and how medically correct it is and also from sustainability angle how sustainable it is that you can follow a certain diet and if you lose weight through that particular diet how likelihood it is that you will like shed away that weight for good or will it return back after some time again a word of caution do not overdo anything stop when you feel uncomfortable if you have any medical condition please consult your doctor and again this advice is for educational purposes it is not for a medical purpose and uh, usually for a sedentary normal adult 2000 to 2500 calories are enough so but if you do some heavy lifting or if your occupation demands that then please uh, change accordingly so first of all i would like to tell you the calories per gram so that you do not confuse so 1 gram sugar will have 4 calories 1 gram protein will also have 4 calories but 1 gram of fat or 1 gram of let's say oil will have 9 calories so you can easily understand that uh, fat has more than twice the calories of as compared to carbohydrates but usually in nutrition classes people only talk about these three things they forget about the fourth thing that is the alcohol so if you drink one beer that is equivalent to 150 to 200 calories which is huge because people drink like three four beers like anything and then they have 600 to 800 extra calories to deal with that's why you might have heard the term which is called as beer belly so alcohol also is very highly energetic because it provides you a lot of energy uh, metabolically speaking so these are the only four sources for human beings to provide energy so what to avoid usually uh if anything that is coming in a packet you should avoid it and avoiding here does not mean that you do not eat it at all just try to limit the quantity as much as possible if you are eating chips limit to 2 to 3 if you are eating biscuits limit to 1 to 2 again limiting is the sense just taste it and like just have will power to control it or if you do not have will power then my strong recommendation is please do not start it then meal should be freshly cooked this is again if it is possible then please do this that meal should be freshly cooked and it should not be stale from last one to two days because lot of nutritional value gets lost anything with visible oil be it samosa kachori namkeen if you can just like crush it in a tissue paper and if the oil is coming then you should probably avoid eating it especially if you are overweight anything with added sugars now there are a lot of added sugars in surprising items also like the corn flakes which you eat or bon vita or complan or anything like coca cola diet coke sorry uh, coca cola pepsi you can have diet coke by the way uh, till now like except for phenyl ketoneurics the patients who have phenyl ketoneuria uh, there are not much documented side effects so you can have that instead of the coke no matter what a dietitian says then people have this debate ki ghar ka khana acha hota hai so in that sense your home homemade uh, food is better it, that is wrong aloo paratha and samosa will have equally bad calories because it is also at the end of the day cooked in oil versus burgers and pizzas so that statement is absolutely wrong both are equally bad it does not matter whether it is cooked inside or outside now many people especially in western countries and now in india are following what is called as caveman or paleo diet which is very good if you can sustain it nothing like it but i think if it is not your full time job to be a fitness freak and if you are a normal human being it is not sustainable again like what does it include is vegetables fruits nuts roots and meats and what it excludes is all the dairy products are excluded all the grains are excluded literally all the grains are excluded you can't eat anything at all anything rice wheat bread roti nothing you can eat all the sugars are eliminated processed oil salt alcohol coffee everything is eliminated what they trying to say is pre agricultural era like before ne- neolithic age started what the people used to eat that you have to eat now it is very difficult to follow this diet obviously it is not sustainable so i have a slight variant which is called as grandmother safe diet and uh, i used to think ki if my grandmother that is dadi if she can have this diet who is 90 years old then i think it is safe for me as well so a lot of plant products you can give her most of the plant products she will not mind most of the dairy products you can give them milk curd 
एक्सेप्ट्रा एक्सेप्ट में भी एक्सेस ऑफ घी बिकॉज दैट इज अगेन लाइक प्योर फैट देन स्पेशली इन डेयरी प्रोडक्ट्स ऑल्सो इफ यू हैव वेट इशूज यू कैन यूज स्किम्ड मिल्क और डबल टोन मिल्क देन यू हैव लॉट ऑफ ग्रीन लीफी वेजिटेबल्स यू कैन ईट रॉ कुकड वट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू डू विद दैम देन अवॉइड जंक फूड प्रोसेस्ड फूड एंड प्रोसेस्ड मीट एज वेल बिकॉज इट हैज़ लॉट ऑफ सॉल्ट शुगर एंड फैट कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इट हैज़ लॉट ऑफ ट्रांस फैट्स बिकॉज दे यूज द सेम ऑयल अगेन एंड अगेन फॉर कुकिंग एंड दैट इज़ वेरी वेरी बैड फॉर योर हार्ट द ट्रांस फैट नाउ वैन इट कम्स टू एल्कोहल इफ़ यू हैव नॉट स्टार्टड दैन अवॉइड इट इफ यू हैव स्टार्टड दैन लिमिटेड इफ़ यू आर इन एक्सेस दैन कंट्रोल इट बट इफ़ यू कॉन्ट कंट्रोल इट दैन यू हैव टू गेट इट ट्रीटेड बिकॉज it gives you silent calories you don't realize it but you end take end up taking a lot of calories as i have already explained crash or fat diets like paleo diets etc they are impossible to sustain people say that i am taking detox diet this juice will detox me your body will detox itself there is no mechanism as such your kidneys are detoxing your liver is detoxing your lungs are detoxing they don't need any external diet whatsoever to get detoxed and this is absolute ridiculous celebrity concept there is nothing in this bod- body which get detoxed by drinking uh, some stupid herbs or something like that again if you even if you lose let's say 10 kg or 20 kg using this crash or fat diets 95% of the people will regain the weight in 1 to 5 years so what was the gain of losing the weight in the first place so do things which are sustainable from day one now a lot of people come to me and doc- as a doctor they used to ask can i take multivitamins can i take this can i take that can i take mineral supplements so basically what it does is it makes your urine rich in minerals and vitamins that's all it it used it does not matter if you are if you eat a normal balanced diet most of the vitamins and minerals will be given to you through your food but still if you feel that you have some deficiency then consult your doctor and if only he prescribes or she prescribes then take them junk food is basically anything which adds false values in your body and uh, it has again like high sugar high fat high salt concentration it has very little vitamins nutrition and it is very addictive also and it alters your brain in similar way as addictive drugs like heroin does so avoid it as much as possible uh dieting even if you are eating a balanced diet but the quantity is very limited so it will not work some diets like ketogenic diets they are used in children to reduce seizures and they work so i'll make a separate course for that also and some and it is being used in metro cities for reducing weight as well so finally some hacks so drink water before eating so it will help you uh, keep smaller plates in the house so that serving size is reduced because if people go to usa serving size is so high that they tend to gain weight avoid watching screens while eating screen means your mobile phone or laptop tablet tv anything eat slowly because your stomach will send signal to brain that you are full earlier and eat things which are rich in water and dietary fibers so that because stomach's capacity is around 2 liters so if you eat things like watermelon which is 95% water so you will feel full very fast and the calories will also be less if you eat fruits which have high dietary fibers then again it will help you do not bring junk do not bring junk food to home because if you bring it to home once then it is 100% guaranteed that you will eat it if you have hunger pangs then eat some nuts like cashew nuts almonds even if they are rich in fats they will help you uh, you can drink lemon water shikanji green tea jaljeera etc because they have low, low calorie you, you can even have diet coke and avoid eating 2 to 3 hours before sleeping so thank you for watching this lesson have an awesome day